Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to walk through a puzzle on chess.com that was rated 3200. Okay, so let's get started here. So it's black to move and we have to figure out what is going on in this position. So you might notice that white just captured the rook here in the corner, that was the last move. And now it's black's turn and it's a puzzle so you know there's something that's going to happen here, some mate maybe, or some deadly attack. Given the material, it looks like black's probably going to mate. So let's just try to see what we can calculate and see how far we can get. So the first move that's kind of crying out to be played is queen takes f2 or bishop takes f2, one of those two. right? And let's just think about which one makes the most sense to play. Well, queen takes f2 is more aggressive. You know, it, it allows the king... To go that way but the same applies to bishop f2 but with the queen here the king can't run up the board just in general it seems like a better idea to take with the queen so let's just imagine we did and let's, this is just a test of your calculation skills so queen takes f2 the king has only one move right king to d1 okay now with the king on d1 do we have a knockout threat well you might be able to see that we do have a bishop move. We can go bishop to g3 check, and the king is forced to then go to c1. And from there, do we have anything? This is the question. If you can't see this, this far into the future, this is a good exercise to help calculate. So let's think about that one more time. Let's just run it through again. Queen takes pawn. King goes to d1. Bishop g4, king goes to c1. Now at this point in your calculation, what do you see? Well, I don't see a way for another check. The back rank is covered by the rook. And I see a knight here is a little loose because the king is on c1, which means this diagonal is a little unprotected. So what if I went bishop to e3? Okay, well, if I did that, I would be threatening what exactly? I'd be threatening queen takes, but then the king just runs away, and I don't see a mate. There's no follow-up move, because the, this rook is a superstar. This, this rook is covering the whole back rank. So it seems like, let's just restart, it seems like that's maybe not the way to go, because there's no convenient follow-up move. So let's kind of run through this again. And maybe queen f2 is not right. This is kind of the way you have to think when you calculate. You have to go through each move and see which one makes the most sense. So queen f2, check. Like I said, the king only has one option, which is why we're looking at this move. So uh, king d1. Is there a way to threaten mate on the spot? Well, yeah, actually. This piece is defended by the king and it's attacked by the queen. So if I went bishop here, bishop e3, that would be a checkmate threat on the spot. Okay, that's a good. That seems like a right, the right idea. And now you have to ask yourself: Is there a way for white to stop this threat of queen takes knight mate? And I think the answer is yes. They can stop that immediate threat. And again, this is a test of calculation skills. Let's see if you can follow along. Queen takes f2, king to d1, bishop takes, or not bishop takes, sorry, bishop e3. So we're threatening mate right here. We have the queen is here, and the bishop is here. And the king is on d1. We're threatening mate on the spot. Well, here's a cool move that white has. White can run one more step. The idea is just to run away, just to try to get to b1 where they're safe. And after queen or sorry, after king to c1, what does black have? If black just takes, we're in a position similar to last time. White just runs away with king b1. So it seems like that's not the right idea, right? The right idea is not to take that knight. Okay, so let's go back to that position and let's see if there's any other idea. It seems like this rook is the MVP, right? The rook is covering the back rank. Is there a way that we can get something on the rook, maybe remove the rook somehow? Is there anything we have? So let's test this. So queen takes f2. Let me do it this way. Queen takes f2. 
king to d1, bishop to e3, threatening mate, and then the king goes to c1. Now here is the reason why I made this video, because I thought this next move was just so cool. So like I said, the reason why we can't mate the king right now is because of this rook in the corner. This rook in the corner has been really the MVP for white. So is there a way that we can either attack this rook or get it to stop defending the king? Maybe some kind of interference move? Well, that is actually precisely it. There is an interference move in this position. So let's start over one more time just to continue drilling here. Queen takes f2 check. King d1. And here's the cool move. Here's one cool move. Bishop to e3. We're threatening mate on the spot. The king has to run away. King to c1. Now notice the weakness of this move. This knight is now pinned, right? The king is on c1. The knight is pinned. Here is the superstar move. Bishop to f1. Look at that killer move. So if you can project this far, great job, first of all. But if you can project this far, you'll see that I'm blocking the connection between the rook on h1 and the king on c1. Now, what's the point of this move? Well, the point is that now I'm threatening to checkmate the king because the king is on c1, remember? And my queen is on f2. So I'm threatening just to mate the king right there because there's, no, there's nothing here on the square. The king's over here. So that's actually what I think it is. So let's see this play out one more time. Queen takes f2, king to d1, bishop e3, threatening mate. The king has to run away to c1. Now this back rank is looking a little weak because this knight is pinned. Well, that's where this beautiful move comes in. Boom. Bishop f1 cuts off the connection between the king and the rook. Now let's think about what white can do. Well, first of all, the queen is in no man's land, right? The, the queen can't do anything. No checks, no sensible checks. Of course, you can check me, but none of those look good. And then, so there's no there's no move that white has to start trouble. And if they ever you know played bishop here to check, you could just take that. So it seems like white can't do anything. So right now, the bishop is on f1, and the rook is on h1, the king is on c1. What can they do? Well, if they take, if rook takes, you can actually just capture that rook because this knight is pinned, remember. This knight is pinned. So <laughs> test your calculation skills here. This is challenging, but this is what makes chess really great. So let's start putting some of this on the board. So queen takes f2 check. The king has to go to d1. Now in this position, if you want to check, it seems like the king can run away and you're not going to be saved. So instead of that, bishop to e3. Now the point of this is to threaten mate on the spot. So if you just made a nothing move, I don't know, bring the queen back, that's mate on the spot. You can't defend mate with the rook. There's nothing that they can do. Okay, so what is the next move here? Well, the king has to run away because the idea is that if you capture the queen runs to b1 or sorry the king runs to b1 and there's no back rank mate and this is why this is the only winning move in this position at least like knockout blow that is just such a nice move bishop to f1 boom double exclamation point now this blocks the back rank so i'm threatening right now i'm threatening to queen i'm threatening queen to e1 mate so what can black do? Well, or sorry, what can white do? Not much. If they capture this, like I was saying, you have this is mate. Because remember, this knight is pinned. And if they did something else, which really there's nothing else in this position, if they try to run away, that doesn't help you. There's no, this is still mate. You, you, the knight does not hop this way. And even if it did, you could capture it. <laughs> it doesn't, but if it did, you would still lose. So in this position, this position right here, the best move for white, according to the computer, is queen to e8. That's when you know it's bad, right? Like this, and then probably bishop takes f7. Yeah, look at this. This is what the computer is saying. It's trying to prolong mate. 
And if you try to run away, like b3, that kind of thing, that's okay. Takes, and look at this, king b2. Now remember, this pawn is pinned here. So you check, you can't block with this. And then king, like, like look at this. Look at the beauty of this mate, boom. The geometry of this. So if we go all the way back, all the way back, in this position, try to see how far you can calculate out, right? The beauty of chess is being able to calculate what your opponent's gonna do, be able to project their moves, and it's hard, it's very hard. But the goal is to do it and try to see if you can improve. So all that calculation is takes here, bishop e3, here again, and then the stunning move, bishop f1, that's just beautiful move. That's the whole reason I made this video. I love that move. Interference moves, there's something about them that I just, I tend not to see them. I used to not see them as much. Now I'm getting better at them, but I'm still not the best at them. I just, for some reason, they're just not on my radar as much. So just love the puzzle. It's just a wonderful position. And hopefully you got something out of this video. And yeah, as I showed, that's a bad move, bishop there. Hopefully you got something out of this video. And if you enjoy it, please be sure to like it on YouTube and subscribe. It's a, this position is just great. And right here, that's the ending position. Um, yeah, half of all income that I earn on YouTube and Twitch when I start streaming will go to the charity of the month. This month, it's the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. And I'm really happy to do that. I love chess and I love helping people. So, you know, chess for charity makes a lot of sense for me. If you like this stuff, please like on YouTube and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.